And I will be talking about rounding bottoms and rounding tops as reversal patterns. Those are quite easy to spot because you're going to see how the price action just goes in about a, a circle form. Okay, so it's very round. Now, just like that. Um, we have a downtrend coming. This. You're going to see forming a bottom. Okay, so a rounding bottom. That means that after we break this resistance level, you want to expect the price to actually go higher. Okay, and how do you find out the target for this? That's very easy. You'll measure the bottom of the move to the top of the resistance, and then you take that measurement and put it at the breakout point, okay, from the resistance. And that should give you a target for the rounding bottom or the top, okay? Because this will go and show itself on the other side as well. We're gonna we're gonna see how it looks like. Okay. This one it's gonna be the bottom. Now you'll see how we got a nice downtrend coming in right here. And we found out our resistance point. We got it from this two points. And see the price, how it is rounding up down here. Okay, it's trying to keep push higher and higher. We found a nice support area right here. Okay, so it's not going anywhere under that. That's what makes this, gives us the round shape. Okay, and then right after that broke, we see the price rally up. I should rally a lot more than it overperformed our target because our target would have been this, would have been right here. We actually overperformed it. Well, you always want to take profits while they're there. So remember that. Now let's look at the other way. Let's look at a uh, rounding top. Let's look at the Amazon stock. You're going to see it right here. Now what happened here? Once again, we got our nice rounding of the price. And now it's going from the top because we have an uptrend forming coming in here. And then it's, it's failing to actually go any higher than this. So we found a resistance now right over here. And we also found a support level from this points right here. See how they actually went, touched it here, here, and here. Draw a straight line over there. And then what happens right after that breaks, we see our dump happening. Okay, this will give you our signal right here, right when that breaks. And once again, we're gonna look at the target from the support level to the top of the move. We have that, and we're going to use that from our breakout point right here. See, so that doesn't reach 100% to it. That's why I always say, even when you have a target just like that, even when you measure it, you want to make sure you take profits a little bit before so you can see how this actually went and almost reached our target, but not quite. So, you always want to keep that in mind, it's not always going to reach your target but it's going to be very close to it. So you want to keep, you want to make sure that you stake profits right before and along the way. So you don't get caught up with this actually rallying once again up and you miss the opportunity and you're going to turn your profits to losses. Okay. So you want to keep that in mind. It's very easy to trade this. Just to spot it, just make sure you see that rounding shape.